I'll just be, I'll try and be as brief as possible. But first of all, in terms of the numbers, what I can tell you, and uh, it was also stressed before, that uh, the numbers that were um, uh, shared with us on Friday by the company did not correspond to what uh, was in the uh, advanced purchase agreements um, uh, and, to our adva and, and to what we, uh, we expected. Uh, in terms of our global partners, of course, we're in continuous contact with our global partners um, uh, and through the, G through the G7, and, and I work very closely, of course, with WHO. And I wanted to make a, a point clear, because uh, uh, we're talking uh, about, um, uh, uh, you, you spoke about export restrictions, but uh, let me be absolutely clear. The, the European Union is not, expo is not imposing an export ban on vaccines or, or restricting uh, the export of vaccines to third countries. Um, what we have proposed as a commission is an export transparency mechanism, which will be, what it will do is bring clarity uh, on the production capacity uh, of manufacturers, the number of doses, as I already have uh, said to you two days ago, produced, which production centers and um, which doses are sold to which countries, including the EU27. And this is very important to have this uh, transparency um, and clarity uh, of, of deliveries. And this is what we're working towards. Um, we are asking, uh, as um, Mr. Namer said before, uh, we are uh, requesting of AstraZeneca to uh, be as transparent as possible with the contracts. We believe that sharing these will uh, clarify many of the issues uh, and the questions raised. Thank you.